Hello, boys and girls. I am so happy to be coming to you today. I am with our friend, Mrs. DeLong, and we are excited to see you. We are still practicing social distancing. She's on the other side of the room, but I found out something incredible about her today. She told me she can read my mind. She's a wizard. I'm not sure I believe it, but let's let her try. Hi, Mrs. DeLong. Hi, Miss Cooper. I am thinking of a number on a jelly bean. And I wonder if you can read my mind like you say you can. It's right here. Well, can I come over closer to the jelly bean so I can sit in front of the camera? Hi, boys and girls. I told Miss Cooper that I was a wizard and I could read her mind. So we're just going to make uh, do this little demonstration for you. So, Miss Cooper, I'd like you to think of a number between 1 and 10. I've got it. Okay, is it on jelly bean number 1? It is. On number 2? It is. On number 3? Yes. On number 4? No. Ooh, this is a toughie. Is it number 6? It is. Ooh. Mrs. DeLong, how did you know that? Oops, I'm not going to tell you yet. How about trying it again? Okay. I've got my number right here. Okay. Is it on jelly bean number one? No. Jelly bean number two? Yes. Jelly bean number three? No. Ooh. Jelly bean number four? It's not there. Mm. Is it number two? It is. Are you looking at those jelly oh, beans? Guess what? This time I'll look across the room and okay. we'll try it. So think of a number, Miss Cooper, between 1 and 10. I got it. Okay, now I'm not going to look at the jelly beans. Is it number 1? Is it on jelly bean number 1? It is not on number 1. Number 2? It is It is on number 2. Number 2, okay. Number 3? Yes. Number 4? Yes. Oh, this is tough. Oh, I don't, I'm not going to peek, though. Is it nine? It is! And you weren't even peeking! Let's try it one more time. Maybe you'll figure out how I'm doing it. Okay. I'm not going to look. No looking. Okay. All right, I've got my number. Uh-oh, you look... I think it's going to be a tricky one. It is. Is it on jelly bean number one? No, ma'am. Jelly bean number two? Nope. Jelly bean number three? Nope. Jelly bean number four. It has to be on number four. It's on number four. Is it the number four? It is! Mrs. DeLong, you are a wizard. I think I can do this too. Oh. I think I figured it out. Okay, Miss Cooper, I happen to have a wizard hat over there for you. So why don't you put the wizard hat on and I'm going to switch spots with you. Okay, here I go. I wish we had some music. I could sing. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, let oh. me adjust that wizard hat. <laughs> All right, Mrs. DeLong, I think I figured out your trick, but I need to look at the jelly okay. beans to start. Okay. Will you please pick a number on one of the jelly beans? Okay, I am thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on jelly bean number 1? Yes. Okay, Mrs. DeLong. Is your jelly bean on number two? Yep, my number's on jelly bean number two. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on jelly bean number three? Nope. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on jelly bean number four? Yes, it is. Is your number seven? Good job, Ms. Cooper. Woo! I think I've got it. Let's do a little more practice. Okay. Mrs. DeLong, think of a number between one and ten, and don't tell me. Okay, Miss Cooper. Oh, I've got a number. Okay. Is your jelly bean Is your number on jelly bean number 1? Yes, it is. Is your number on jelly bean number 2? Yep. Is your number on jelly bean number 3? Yes, it is. Is your number on jelly bean number 4? Yes, it is. Is your number 
10? Yeah, good job, Miss Cooper. That one was so tricky. My mind was working <laughs> overtime. Okay, now I want you to try it without looking at the jelly beans. Can okay, you, think you I'm going to do it. I know I can. Okay, I'm going to make it a toughie. Okay. Okay. Don't make it harder than the last one. That one was really okay. hard. Oh, let me think. All right. Uh, I'm thinking of a number. Okay. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on jelly bean number one? Yes. Is your number on jelly bean number two? No. Is your number on jelly bean number three? Yes, it is. Is your number on jelly bean number four? Yes. Is your number eight? All right. <laughs> I did it without even looking, boys and girls. Okay, now let's try one more time, and then maybe we can teach the boys and girls how to do this with their families. Do you think you'd like to learn at home? All right. No peeking, Miss Cooper. Okay, let's see. Mrs. DeLong, I'd like you to think of a really tricky number. I'm getting good at this. Between 1 and 10. Okay. Let me know when you have it. I've got it. I've got it, she said. <laughs> Mrs. DeLong, is your number on jelly bean number 1? No. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on jelly bean number 2? No. Number 3? Yes. Is your number on jelly bean number 4? No. Then I think I know your number. Is it the number three? Yes. Good job, Miss Cooper. Woo! Ooh, this is so job. exciting. I think it must be the Hat Boys and Girls. Would you like to learn? So Mrs. DeLong and I were talking, and we decided we'd like to teach you how to be a wizard, too. You'll need a piece of paper and something to write with. We have this big whiteboard, but you don't need that. Just a piece of paper and something to write with. When you're ready, draw the numbers one, two, three, and four. They will be the labels for your jelly beans or whatever shape you pick. I'm gonna make a triangle. You know I'm not a good artist. So make your shapes the same and make them so that you can put numbers in each of them. I know you'll be an expert at whatever shape you pick. When you're done, give me the thumbs up. We're ready. On jelly bean number one, you're going to write these numbers. One, six, ten, eight, and seven. Now don't be tricky. Remember to write all of those numbers on that jelly bean. When you're ready, move on to jelly bean number two or triangle number two, whatever your shape is. And label it number two and then write the following numbers. 10, 9, 7, 5, and 6. All right, in your next shape, go ahead and write the following numbers. Three, nine, eight, ten, six, and five. And on the last triangle, these are the numbers you need. Four, seven, eight, 10 and 9. Oh, your numbers look great. Okay, Miss Cooper, now let's practice teaching the boys and girls how to do this trick. And I am thinking of the first number. So I have a number in my head, Miss Cooper. So. Okay. Mrs. DeLong, is your g number on the first triangle? No. Is your number on the second triangle? Yes. Boys and girls, remember, second triangle. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on the third triangle? Yes. Boys and girls, remember, it is on the second triangle and the third triangle. Mrs. DeLong, is it on the fourth triangle? No. Boys and girls, do you remember that Mrs. DeLong picked a number and it was on triangle number two 
and triangle number three. See if you can add those two numbers together. Do you know her number? Mrs. DeLong, is your number two plus three? Is your number five? Yes, good job. Good wow! Good job. Did you guess that too, boys and girls? Let's try another one, Mrs. DeLong. Think of a number between one and 10. Okay, I have a number. All right. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on triangle number one? No. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on triangle number two? No. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on triangle number three? Yes. Boys and girls, remember number three. Mrs. DeLong, is your triangle on, is your number on triangle four? No. Mrs. DeLong, I think your number is three because that was the only triangle it was on. Correct. Did you get that too, boys and girls? All right, here's the trick. Okay, now let's try another, let's try a big number. I'm ready. So now I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna say what my number is out loud and Miss Cooper will point to the triangles and talk you through this last number. Okay, we're ready. Okay, my number is going to be 10. So, so boys and girls, Mrs. DeLong's number was on number one, number two, number three, and number four. Think about counting in your head to add the numbers one, two, three, and four. It might look like four plus three, that gives me seven. Counting up, eight, nine, ten. Mrs. DeLong's number is ten, look. Did you get that too? You could count under the table or behind your back with your fingers if you need to, or you can do some mental math and trick your parents. Okay, Miss Cooper, let's try it one more time. And boys and girls, as Miss Coop, as Miss Cooper is saying which number or which triangle my number is on, we want you to uh, use your fingers or in your head to try to figure out my number. And we'll give you a couple seconds before we say the answer. All right, I think they're ready, Mrs. DeLong. All right, Mrs. DeLong, think of a number between one and 10. Okay, I have it. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on triangle number one? Yes. Is your number on triangle number two? Yes. Is your number on triangle number three? Yes. Is your number on triangle number four? No. All right, boys and girls, do you think you know it? Did you put up one finger and then two more fingers and then three more fingers? If you did, what is Mrs. DeLong's secret number? Mrs. DeLong? Is it six? Yes, it is. Boys and girls, this is what I did to help me. One plus two more plus three equals six. I can do mental math and I bet you can too. Try it again. Okay, one more. Okay, I'm gonna make it a toughie. Okay, she's making it tough, boys and girls. Okay, I have one. All right, are you ready? Thumbs up if you are. I know I am. Mrs. DeLong, is your number on triangle number one? No. Is your number on triangle number two? No. Is your number on triangle number three? No. Is your number on triangle number four? Yes. What do you think, boys and girls? Do you got it? What is the answer? I wanna hear it. Did you say that the number was four? If so, you were right. Congratulations. Now we want you to try it with somebody at home. Thanks for watching. And Mrs. DeLong, thanks for teaching us a new trick today. You're welcome. Good job, Good job Ms. Cooper and boys and girls.